Hi, it's Chris here and I'm um, with the SEO Rank Promoter. I'm now going to look at the Rank Promotion tools. Uh, now, these are tools that are designed to get web pages moving through the ranking of Google, Yahoo and Bing. And they use two types of projects, two types of tools that you can use. Um, we're just going to show you an existing project here. And uh, what happens is when you add a project, they get added to the drop down list and uh, you can load the projects and you can determine which tool to use. Now we're going to talk about that now. Um, here we're going to use the Rank Activator because we've got a new website uh, for the SEO Rank Promoter. And uh, I want to show you the features of this software and why this is going to be uh, so powerful for you. Um, first of all, we've got a record here that's stored of the project when we ran it uh, the last time which was on the 18th of February and we've got here the keywords that we were targeting we've got the existing rank on that date in Google Yahoo and Bing for these keywords and for the URL that's uh, located here and we've also got the number of hits or searches that we carried out uh, for those keywords and the type of project, RA being Rank Activator, if it was a rank moving project, which is a different type of uh, project, uh, then it would say RM here. Now on uh, this side of the screen, on the right side, we've got uh, four tabs here. We've got Project tab, which is where we store our URL and the keywords. We've got our project name here. Now we've got here this feature whether we want to pause between each visit that we make and if we had that selected and we set a minimum and maximum time in seconds what will happen is there will be a random pause between the two times that are set here between each search that's carried out. And then we've got a, here a random visit time. This will be the time that the computer stays on the URL uh, that it's visiting. <coughs> and then we've got the timeout in seconds for the send and receive. Uh, don't need to worry about these features, we'll explain them more in the manual uh, but these are fairly uh, default settings here. We've got use proxies and it's checked and we've got number of threads here 50. Uh, that's particularly high uh, and it's particularly high given that we're, we're not using pauses between. So I'm going to change the project settings here. I'm going to make this uh, 10 to 240 and I'm going to reduce the threads to 10. I'm going to save that. So that's updated the project. Here we've got our search engines uh, that we've selected. In this case we've selected all of them. What will happen when we carry out this project it will it will randomize the order of these uh, searches and it will randomize the order of the keywords. <coughs> And here is our proxy list. We've loaded some working uh, proxies that we've checked this morning. And uh, the final tab is the activity log. And we'll, we'll see this get switched to after we start to run the project. So let's, let's uh, run this project so you can see <coughs> what happens next. Okay, so the, the log starts here. We've got our date and time and we've got what the software is doing. It's checking the rank for the keyword. Uh, it's looking basically in the Google results in this case and here in the Yahoo results for this keyword it's trying to find this URL in the results. Obviously if it finds that URL in the results then it means that the, the, the search for that keyword has a particular ranking. As we can see in the keyword improve your ranking so far it's saying that it's not in the first thousand and it's not in the first thousand in Yahoo um, not in the first thousand in Bing. Not surprising because uh, it's a brand new website and uh, we've done no uh, real SEO uh, uh, practices on the site yet. Uh, it's basically just to show you how the software is working. And so we've got get uh, page one ranking uh, here again not in the first thousand and I expect to get the same results in Yahoo and Bing for that so let's just let the the software carry on and get those results it's a slow process because we're checking a thousand results we're not checking uh, 
uh, one short list of results we have to check through each uh, page that uh, these search engines give us back and uh, then we can report that back okay here we've got something interesting we've got uh, SEO ranking software uh, it's appearing in position 148 and you can see that uh, a couple of days ago it wasn't in the top thousand and uh, we've only carried out a couple of projects on this so this looks to be a relatively easy keyword for us to rank for okay so all that data is now in and what's happening here in uh, the activity log is it's starting to carry out the rank activator projects and what it does is it it uses one of three different types of <coughs> searches for the keyword and the URL and what happens is the search engines associate those searches with the possibility that uh, that is the result that people are looking for and um, we don't use one type of uh, search string we use several types uh, and we're adding those all the time to the software to make sure that the the science behind this is uh, practical and functional that it really works we can see here it does work because we've we've gone from nowhere um, just a few days ago to position 148 and obviously if we were to be doing this perhaps in a week's time we'll find uh, that 148 is down to perhaps the top 10 positions or the top 20 positions in the search engine and that's going to make a huge difference to the sort of traffic that any site would get now remember here in the activity view what we're seeing is this random pause of between 10 uh, seconds and four minutes and that's why we don't see it uh, jumping forward with a huge list of activity why is that important? Well, it's important to be natural the other aspect is that uh, this software allows you to run multiple projects at the same time so we can uh, minimize that project and we can load up another project and we could run that at exactly the same time it's not going to take up uh, valuable CPU resources uh, the software has been written in such a way that uh, it only uses um, the necessary resources so that's one of the key advantages now that's really where we are with the rank activator now there's a different type of project here called the rank mover and uh, why is that different well what happens with the rank mover is we don't just search for your URL in the results what we do is we search for the keyword let's let's imagine that we were carrying out the search here and we were trying to improve the ranking for this URL for seorankpromoter.com and this keyword SEO ranking software and what the software would do is search Google uh, for that keyword it would find the URL in the results and it would visit the site and uh, it would visit it and stay on the site for three to five minutes which looks like a rather natural visit from somebody who's searching for your website and that visit is going to boost your position uh, with the search engines when you're doing this on a daily basis you don't need to be uh, making thousands and thousands of searches uh, to get moving because if you think about the the results that we saw when we analyzed with the ranking spy uh, we're talking about monthly searches of 10,000 uh, so if you suddenly did a thousand searches in one day you're going to set off all the alarms in Google and they're going to see exactly what you're doing and that is not going to help your ranking at all what you need to do is create uh, genuine uh, type traffic to your sites genuine type searches through Google Yahoo and Bing and that way you'll see your sites moving through as we've done here moving from not in a thousand the top thousand results moving straight in at 148 now it's very important that your uh, your sites use basic SEO techniques it's it's no good using this software thinking it's going to get your sites on page one if you're not going to put any effort into uh, optimizing your sites 
and uh, we concentrate on that a little bit in the user guide because there are some key things that you need to carry out first you need to make sure that your URL uh, uses your keywords your site title uses your keywords uh, that you've got your keyword that you're targeting in h1 tags um, that you've got backlinks being built to your site all of those things are essential for example if if we took the rank mover project the rank mover project would do absolutely nothing for these two keywords and it would do nothing for this keyword in Yahoo or Bing because it's not there it's not showing up in the results so the first thing is to get your keywords showing up in the results and that means that you need to use SEO techniques they're very basic they take a couple of minutes to do each day and they make a big difference when you do them you'll see this type of result you'll see not in 1000 one day and you'll see uh, that it jumps up the next day and you'll see that pattern repeated over time but if you don't do that you're going to see day after day not in 1000 it's important to notice that these results are here to help you uh, this software will help you but you've got to do something uh, you've got to perhaps use the ranking spy to check your site first uh, to see what keywords Google thinks your site is targeting to see the traffic uh, to see how many times you're using those keywords in uh, in your title in your web page in your h1 tags and to make those changes takes you a few minutes and once you've made them uh, then run your projects get your site moving in out of the top thousand into the top thousand and then get your site moving up uh, onto page one using the rank mover project what the rank mover will do is only work when your site is found within the top thousand results uh, there's no point uh, sending thousands of searches to a site that's not in those results it w will not get you anywhere you need to be there first and then start using the rank mover project so there's a there's a process to this and it's important that you know that uh, because if you're expecting a magic wand it doesn't exist now there is a final feature of the software which we'll look at in the next video which is the rank indexer uh, but I hope that's answered a few of your questions I hope it's shown you that this really does work and uh, we'll look at the ranking indexer in the next video